How is it going guys? Slippery Jim here. Welcome back to Sky Vaults. And in the last episode, we ran the very first actual vault, which was pretty awesome. And I'm hoping to do that again today, uh, if we can craft the crystal. As you can see up here, I have cleared out all the blocks that I placed from when we first started the world. And I've moved all of the crafting and the, the loot and everything down to a platform that I've built down here. So this is where we're going to have the main like crafting area and stuff like that. But uh, these little platforms here, and there's one underneath this one too. These will also be floors in the, in the, uh, the overall base. Uh, if you're wondering what these black diagonal um, things are here, basically there are vault cobblestone um, sort of lines that I've built just so I know where the edge of the pyramid that I'm going to build is going to be and these cross parts here are where the floor is going to be built out to so um, these floors down here are going to go out all the way out there all the way around so I'm going to have a lot of space to work with it's going to be pretty awesome uh, yeah so that's what I've done since the last episode I uh, also uh, had to go into the raw vaults um, several times to get materials like uh you know stone um vault cobblestone etc to to build this platform with and stuff like that so uh i did get a few uh completion crates here that will crack open a little bit later from those raw vaults i also got a couple of other things here that we'll check out and i even got an elytra out of one of the wooden chests for free so that was pretty cool we might well, we'll definitely need that going forwards uh, with some of the stuff that I got planned. So that's pretty cool. Got a lot more diamonds and emeralds here too. And I also found a couple more crops. So we got melons. Um, I remembered to get kelp <laughs> as well, um, which is here somewhere. Uh, there it is. And what else did I get? Uh, beetroot. Did I mention the beetroot that I got? Yeah, that was a pretty good find. The one thing I don't have is pumpkins at the moment though, so we do still have to find those at some point. Uh, I've got a couple of extra villages there as well, so we've got a good collection of villages. So yeah, we are going to be checking out um, what the Vault Altar requires to craft up a crystal in a moment. Now you might remember towards the end of the last episode, I also made this thing here, the Shard Pouch, and this is actually for one of the quests in the quest book. So I might have forgotten to mention this, but the great thing about this shard pouch is it holds an infinite amount of soul shards, and these can take up a lot of space otherwise, so that's actually a pretty awesome, um, and it will automatically pick up any shard, any soul shards that, you, that uh, you know, are on the ground or whatever from uh, looting and killing mobs and stuff inside the vaults, so that's pretty cool. Now, I did forget to actually um, complete the quest here. For crafting the soul shard pouch and uh it's a pretty awesome reward like a really unbelievably good reward uh it's actually going to give us a pouch uh a pickup upgrade for the pouch and a void upgrade for the pouch as well um for this quest and this is recently updated this reward um which is pretty epic because you can't actually craft these pouches unless you spend a knowledge star on unlocking the pouch mod here um so we won't be able to craft any more of these until we get that unlocked which we definitely want to do super early probably as my first unlock i would say just about um but they give us one for free here from the quest which is cool with the uh pickup upgrades so uh we can't put both of these in unfortunately we can only choose one or the other and i think we're probably going to go with the pickup upgrade because it's just so so useful the void upgrade is going to be extremely useful as well, but for now, I think we'll just put that into here in case we happen to need it inside of a vault or something like that. But the pouch, uh, we're definitely going to need. And I don't think we can even dye this or anything like that. Like, theoretically, you can dye these different colors uh, and stuff like that. I think I've got some dye somewhere. Like, uh, you can see here, like, you can dye, like, this little stripe. You can almost, you probably can't even see that, but the little stripe, uh, over here, yeah. <laughs> I'm looking in the wrong area. 
But yeah, you can either dye the whole thing a certain color or you can dye the little stripey bits and like you can choose how you want to how you want to do that. So it's uh, it's pretty flexible in terms of where you put the color on these things. I think you can also go like uh let's see here. I thought there was a way to just oh yeah, so you can just do the little stripe there. That's right. That's what I was thinking of. Or you can do the whole thing or it looks like you can do everything except the stripe. So you got some options there I guess to to make them stand out from each other if you had multiples but it's not going to let me do that because we don't actually have it unlocked at the moment we just got the free one so yeah probably the best way to use this is to whitelist stuff that you want it to pick up and then it will automatically just pick up that stuff um so I guess it depends what what we want to want to go into the thing um I don't know if I should set that up now or maybe wait until we do the next vault and then figure out what we're going to get a lot of in the vault. I think that's probably the way to do it. Um, but you can also put these into your backpack slot there as well. Uh, anyway, let's uh, maybe grab the idol this time instead of the shield because uh, I want to try this out. Um, and uh, what the idol is going to do for me is give me that legendary healing efficiency of 23%. Now, I'm not sure exactly how this works in terms of specifics, but I imagine that that's going to heal a little bit more for me when I use either my healing flask or my uh, healing ability. Hopefully, that's how... It, I'm sure that's how it works. I mean, <laughs> there's only so many ways it can work, right, for healing efficiency. Um, anyway, yeah, we'll, we'll, try the, we'll try out the idol... Um, I don't think it's too super dangerous at the moment in the vaults, so we should be should be okay as long as I don't do anything stupid. Um, why have I got that? Let's put that raw vault crystal in there. I'm be trying to keep a collection of these because um, the lower level ones can be handy later on for for uh, going in and getting getting stuff like dirt or whatever. Um, okay, so uh, yeah, basically what we want to do is we want to see. Um, we want to see what the vault altar is going to require. Um, so let's grab a, a vault rock. And uh, we'll put the extras in here. And let's see what we need to craft ourselves a vault crystal. Okay, we got four string, four lapis, three leaves. Ooh, okay. That is actually a problem. Because I cut down on my trees. There we go. Uh, yeah. This is definitely going to work. I probably should have uh, put an unbreaking on these things. I don't usually use shields a great deal. String. Okay, that's everything we need to make ourselves a Vault Crystal. Nice. Okay, that went into my backpack as well. I'm not used to that. <laughs> Alrighty. So, yeah, we have uh, we have ourselves a Vault Crystal. I'm just going to check that I've got everything else I need. I've got food. I've got some Kiwis, Bucket, Vial. Shard pouch, I've got my shulker boxes, got my tools. I think we're good to go. Pretty sure I haven't forgotten anything. So yeah, let's head back up to the portal and we're going to go into the vault for the second time this playthrough. This is so slow getting up this ladder. <laughs> We'll work on speeding that up later in the episode, though. Bam! We have a vault to go into. Okay! Find the monoliths. And we've got to come back to the west. So, yeah, this is the glass I was talking about here. This is really good stuff to get with a silk touch. It's, um, there's two different colors of it. Slightly different colors in layers on both sides there.
All right, what do we got? I might check the uh, the side hallways here just to see if we can spot anything special. We've got our first monolith. I'd like to find some ore, POIs and stuff like that. This might be an ore POI, actually, because there's not much water in here. It's one of the ways that you can tell. Yep, it is, see? Um, let's just kill these guys. Day. I got my magnet on. I always, always forget to turn it on. Okay, little guy. You settled down. It's had too much red cordial. I want to get some of these mossy blocks here as well. Grab some of those. This is the fortune. Okay, that's probably enough for now. Let's let's see if we can get some vault ores as well. So we oh we got Gorgonite here. That is awesome. Some Larimar. What else have we got down here? Painite. Ooh, black opal. Benito white. See what else we can find down here. I need a bunch of this. Oh, another Gorgonite. Pretty cool. Grab all of this. Sometimes the vaults, uh, the, the vault ores are like right in the corner as well. So you kind of want to check every last bit of this. So you don't miss anything. Like, sometimes they'll be sneaky in the, and hide, like, the really rare stuff right in the corner somewhere. I think that's probably about it, though. Right, let's get out of here. Alright. Yeah, one of the ways you can tell if it's, if it's likely to be an ore cave or not when you walk into a room like this is... If there's not that much water, that's one of the one of the indicators. And if the ceiling's really low as well. I think this is another skelly down here. You'll die. Okay, I don't know how much is gonna be in this one. But we'll have a look. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> that's disappointing. Ah uh, well, that's the way it goes. Let's see, there's probably another one over here. And we'll check the top part as well, because I really need my vault ores at the moment. Some Larimar there. It's probably just about it. I don't know. Yeah, that's just bedrock there. Okay, we'll go check the um, top level. See what's up there. It's good that we've got that little bit of extra storage as well now. How do we get up there? Okay, there's a bit of an overhang here. Oi! Nearly knocked me off. There we go. Alright. What do we got here? Is this another one with no ore in it? Seriously? A little bit. Okay, that kind of sucks. Okay, this one looks more promising though. bit of alexandrite and then we've got this one over here not too bad finding an ore room in the first very first room we go in definitely not going to complain about that we will get access to much better tools later on by the way um, you can actually craft vault tools, which can be super awesome. 
That's what all the gems are for, so you can add, like, abilities and stuff to them. Functions. I'd like to get started on that pretty soon, but we currently don't really have enough um, jewels to really craft anything that's going to be super useful. So I've been, I'm kind of holding off until I get your basic affinity jewels, which let you um, break the chests, different types of chests and stuff like that. Coin piles and stuff like that. What do we got here? All that. Okay, you guys trying to get in? <laughs> Skeletons having difficulty. Okay, might be worth checking up there. Ah, oh, you did get in. Well done. <laughs> it's got some parkour skills. about it I think kill you guys yep that's about it okay let's move on see what else we can find so we are getting a fair bit of uh, junk here but that's to be expected chuck that down there and uh, yeah we'll push on so we were heading um, east I believe We've got to find two monoliths. On paper, should be pretty easy. We might have a look down here and see what... Oh, there's a second monolith over there. Gilly. What was my, uh, oh yeah, we got to find the vault essence. Okay, there we go. I don't even have to loot it, apparently. <laughs> Just have to find it. I'm going to need a lot of torches. So, even though they might seem a bit chunky, I will be collecting those. Let's see what we got over here. Coin pile. Definitely want that magic silk. It's so slow looting initially until you get certain tools and upgrades going. Then it becomes extremely fast and extremely satisfying. Yeah, we might start making our way back through. So I just have to remember to turn right again to get back on the central hallway. Still have to find the last monolith though. See what's down here. Oh, we've got a dungeon over there, I think. Could be worth checking out. Bread. It's two chests. <laughs> Fair enough, we got some absorption hearts, they might come in handy. Let's see what difficulty this one is. Oh, that's not good. It's not good at all. We might be able to loot some of these chests, maybe. So you see how much stuff they have in, in, in them though, like, uh, it's pretty good. Pretty good loot. Netherite ingot there. See what we've got through here. 
There's a spawner right there. These guys have a lot of health though. And they hit pretty hard. Um, how much health does this guy got? Oh, it's not that much. I don't have a lot of damage in, dan damage options here at the moment. Don't mind a bit of cheese every now and then. We got lucky and then only one dude spawned out of the spawner on this one. Can you die please? There we go. Still got my absorption hearts. There's the second spawn. Some of the harder dungeons, these guys have like 1200 health or whatever, or more than that. Does take a while to whittle down their health though. Just about dead. <laughs> there we go. Hopefully we get some loot out of this room. I don't think we need that. Let's get the rest of this. Iron nuggets. There's a lot of them, so. Sword there, that's pretty good. Definitely want some of this stuff. Uh, we will take that after all. Okay, what else have we got here? Oh, no spawner in here? That's what we like. Vault nuggets. Um, okay, we'll get rid of the sticks. So I might put the regret nuggets. I kind of want those sticks. I might... that, that's kind of crazy there because I can grow my own trees, right? All right, what else have we got here? Man, there's so much uh, vault gear in here. Oh god, I can't fit it in there. Oh yes we can, hang on. We can do this. What else we got here? Uh oh. <gasps> it's the boss. It's the boss. It's the boss. It's the boss. Oh my god. Okay, I gotta be real careful here. How much health has he got? 900. Try and stay full health here. Please don't one shot me. <laughs> it's going to take me five minutes just to get through his health. See if he doesn't hit me. I don't know what that uh, aura is. That red aura. Definitely not poison. Might be slowness or something? Doesn't feel like slowness though.
Try and get some critical hits. Okay, he's nearly dead. There we go. Beautiful stuff. All right. I think there's a couple more spawners elsewhere in this dungeon that we haven't come across yet, but... Uh, this is probably main loot, or I would imagine. Let's see what we got here. Holy cow, <laughs> the amount of loot. A lot of that carbon is, is really, really, really useful later on. Nice. Oh, we got another alchemy archive. Holy cow. That's crazy. Yet another one. <laughs> so good. Let's see what this one gives us. Okay, poison immunity. That's massive. Is there another spawner over here? Yeah, there is. Okay, we don't really have time for that room. We we got the main room anyway. We've only got three minutes left. So I think it's best. Oh, shoot. Uh, let's just block those guys off. Uh, let's just get out of here. Uh, we need to start heading back. So. Okay, I'll kill these. You can always fit in a couple of zombie kills. So uh, let's start heading back there. We only got three minutes. Is that another door up there? I think that's a treasure door though. Okay, where did I come in though? <laughs> I'm feeling a bit lost right now. Uh oh. Oh, we came in over there. Okay. So, and then I came through there. We were coming this way. I think I had to take a right to get back, didn't I? I honestly, I think that might be the portal room there. Feel, feeling a little bit, little bit lost right now. Because I got so distracted by that dungeon. Do we already hit this? Yeah, we definitely did. Okay. So we came. We must have come from through here. I think if I backtrack, I'm safest. Even if we're not finding new stuff. I did want to get the last monolith though. This has got to be the way back here. Some of these we didn't even really loot. It might be worth... There. Did I get that one? I must have done. It looks like it's lit. Yeah, this is... Okay, that's the portal room right there. So we've still got a minute... Minute 15 to try to find the last monolith. Now, we found the one in this room. So, let's just check this side room here. This is probably all I'm going to have time to check too. So I really hope that it's got a monolith in it. We'll have a quick look at the, the basic level here. Let's have a look up top here. Get some loot.
Come on, I just need one monolith. Dang. Oh, there it is. See it there real quick. Okay, we, we, we got to take some Kiwis here. Get some uh, some time. Hopefully we've got enough Kiwis to get back to the portal. Got nine Kiwis left. Uh, okay, we had to head north to get back out. Oh, that's so huge though. Okay, we don't have far to go here. Come on, I don't want to eat another kiwi. Unless I really have to. I think we're going to have to though. Four, three, two, one. <gasps> oh, baby! <laughs> that was risky right there. Oh, man. Okay, looks like we leveled up. Nice. Um, let's grab that. Alrighty, we'll just leave that one diamond nugget up here, I think. So, let's, oh, what the heck? That was weird. Let's uh, head on down. And we'll check out the loot. Okay, let's check out the loot situation. So we do have our monolith crate here and we have a full, pretty much full, um, large chest with all the loot and some of the junk as well that we got from that, um, from that vault. So, uh, there's a couple of vault items here. Let's just see if, uh, I chucked my tools in there for some reason. Let's take those back out there. So yeah, we got a couple of leggings there. We got a uh, tiny bit of magic silk. We got a few gems, which is really good. These, uh, these are going to become pretty important for crafting stuff and, and stuff like that. Uh, some raw carbon there. Um, fair bit of netherite scrap. Some iron nuggets. One knowledge essence. <laughs> oh, man. Um... And we got a relic booster pack there too. Okay. Cool. Um, we will crack open the uh, the monolith crate. But I also have some loot that I got in between episodes from running the raw vaults. So we might grab these out of here. We got some of these to roll. Um, there's a rare plus magnet there. So that might potentially be really good. Um, and we got all of these. Let's crack open these. Uh, we'll crack them. We'll crack them open all at once. Let's just turn the magnet off. That is a lot of loot right there. Look at that. That is massive loot, dude. Massive loot. Unbelievable. I can see a lot of jewels there. We're definitely going to need those jewels as well. Let's pick up what we can here. Actually, I think a lot of that went into my pouch. So, man, we got a lot. Let's put all the vault gear into this chest over here. We'll go through that in a second. So, we won't really look too closely at the gems, but the main, the jewels, I should say, but the main um, things that I'm trying to get at the moment, as far as the jewels, as far as the jewels goes, let's put those in the wrong chest, didn't I? Uh, the main thing I'm looking for is the affinities. So I've got wood affinities and gilded affinities at the moment. But I'm going to need coin affinities, ornate affinities. Um, gilded? No, we've already got gilded. Yeah, so wood, gilded, coin, ornate, and living affinities are what I need. So let's just see if we, if we get any of those. There's shoveling. Durability. Smelting is pretty handy sometimes for certain materials. Okay, so we didn't get any affinities by the looks of it. That's unfortunate. We did get a bit of lemon, which is actually pretty epic. Um, cool. So I guess looking at this loot here, we can sort of figure out like what we want to 
whitelist in the pouch. Uh, we'll get to that in a second though. Let's just uh, go through all of these. Uh, we'll s I, I might just roll all of these and then we'll figure out what the best, what the best stuff is. We'll start with the good stuff. Okay, we got a common shield here. Um, just compare it with my existing shield. So it is thorns damage, soul chance, healing cloud. So probably not the greatest. Um, might start putting this stuff in here. We also got a magnet there, which is rare. With 4.5 range, 10 velocity, fair bit of durability, mining speed as well, and soulbound. I actually think at the moment the copiously item quantity is better. Like this has better is is better as an actual functional magnet, but it's it's definitely worth um hanging on to there. We got an idol there as well with uh mana, mining fatigue avoidance. And mana regen. We'll just chuck that in there. And we got a helmet, common helmet with four armor, six percent attack damage, six percent item rarity, soul bound, um, and two point five ability power. So I actually think the one I've got at the moment is better for what I need, which is unfortunate. So let's just chuck that in there. We also got an axe, which is like, yeah, whatever. Um, all right. Now, even though these all say Scrappy Plus, they still do have a chance to roll higher qualities. So we might get lucky. Let's see what we get here. We actually got a common sword with 8.5 plus 6 attack damage. Um... She's pretty good. It's got the shocking hit chance. You can't really beat the chaining attack though. Chaining attacks are so good. Uh, what else did we get? We got a sword with plus two chaining attack. Um, slowness cloud. And it doesn't have the undead damage, but this has got a plus two chaining. So this is actually better in some ways than my existing sword. Um, we also got a chest plate with plus two health on it. Probably the one I've got at the moment is better. We also got leggings there um, with plus two, six armor total. So those are a bit better than what I've got at the moment. Uh, I'm just going to go through and roll the rest of these and then we'll see what the better ones are at the end. Let's just roll all of these. Let's see, item quantity, three health, ability, power. Yeah, we'll go with those ones there and the rest I'll just put in here for now. There's a rare axe there with plus two chaining on it. Uh, 8.5 attack damage. Soulbound Slowness Cloud. That's not bad, actually. Let's put those in there. And that in there. Okay, and these... That's a pretty good sword there. It'll be good as a backup, but I think this one is actually going to be better to use. All right. So we'll grab some emeralds and do a little bit of enchanting on these.
Now, at the very least, I'm going to put an unbreaking on the rest of my armor too, because I hadn't got around to enchanting that. So that is the loot sorted. So let's see what our next bounties are. We've got a Mine 7 Larimar Orb bounty with three mystery boxes. Uh, we have Submit 4 Netherite Ingots. I think we can actually do that. So let's activate that one. Because chromatic steel is going to be super important um, in the near future. I think it was four, four netherite ingots, wasn't it? Uh, definitely have. And then it gives us three back anyway. Nice. We also get XP for these, um, these quests as well. Um, cool. Let's see what the next one was. So this is the only one we have left, but we could re-roll this to see if we can get something better. The Vault Diamonds are good as well. Mine 3 Wu to die. Um, Gilded Affinity. Let's trust it to be the one we don't need. That's unfortunate. Um, let's get something good here. Submit 16 Diamonds. We can do that one straight away. Grab that, and then we're out. We're out of quest until it resets. I don't know how long it's going to take. Uh, hopefully it doesn't bug out. I don't think it will, but yeah, it should reset at some point. Um, and we get these two bounty crates, which is pretty huge. Let's grab all of those. Actually, I forgot to check in here. <laughs> I forgot to check my pouch for loot. We, we actually have loot in the pouch as well. So I, I've got more loot than I thought, come to think of it. Um, or was this from the bounties? Either way, let's chuck it in there. So we've got a few jewels here. Gilded Affinity, Ornate Affinity. What else have we got here? Okay. Well, that's one more Affinity to add to the collection. We just need Wooden. Oh, we've already got Wooden. That's a pretty big one. Gilded, Ornate. So we just need um, Living and Coin Piles. Um, we got yet more vault items here, a mystery egg, um, some more sweet kiwis, and some other stuff there. Some more vault bronze there too, cool. So we uh, will start working on the elevator um, next, and what I want to do here is I'm going to put some doors in, um, then I'm going to... Well, probably first before I put the doors in, I'm going to replace these cobble bricks or cobble blocks with glass. So um, the idea that I've got in mind is I want to have this, um, uh, I want to have this set up so I can use it as a water elevator. So we're going to have an up and a downstream. Obviously, you're going to get rid of the ladders. Uh, this is going to be full of water. So I think it would look cool if it was all glassed in. Now I do have one skill point. Let's see if there's anything useful here that I could use. I might put it into... Let's have a look here. Fortunate is an expertise. So yeah, we might go into haste. Because this gives us... Um, 20% extra mining speed. I think that's definitely going to come in useful throughout the whole playthrough. So we'll start with this one over here, I think. And what I'm planning on doing is having one side of the elevator, the side that goes up one color, and the other side that goes down the slightly different color of glass. <laughs> just uh, just because I thought it would be a nice touch. So, um, I don't know... 
I suppose it doesn't really matter which is which. Um, we might go with the the outside being the um, the light blue, like right there. So I've got to be a little bit careful when we get down the bottom that I don't go a little bit too far and kill myself in the void. <laughs> I haven't died yet in this playthrough, and I'd rather not. Okay, that's one column done. Okay, I've finished replacing all of the uh, cobble blocks now with the glass. It looks pretty cool and I've put doors on all of the floors as well that we're going to use for entrances and exits all the way down uh, so all that's left now for me to turn this into a water elevator is to put water uh, down through the center of the uh, the tube uh, on both sides and uh, the doors should stop the water flowing out where I don't want it to. Um, then uh, the next step after that is we're going to have to plant some kelp up through both columns of water all the way to the top to transfer them or to turn them into source blocks. And then the final step after that is just to replace the bottom blocks on both sides, one with a magma block and one with a soul sand block so that we get bubble columns happening. One is going to transport me down which is the magma block bubble column and the soul sand column is going to transport me up and uh, they will both supply oxygen which is always good as well so we'll put our first it's a little bit hard to see <laughs> it's a little bit hard to see here but uh, I don't even know if there's is there a block there it probably that needs to be open right there it looks like I might have put a block there Oh, maybe I didn't. Let's see. So I basically want to put a water bucket there. So that doesn't seem to be flowing down for me. Let's just get rid of that. That's probably what the problem is right there. Um, and then we want to have another bucket on this side like that so hopefully that's going to flow all the way down to the bottom that's what i'm hoping this should all be water now all the way down now i do have uh respiration on my helmet respiration three so theoretically we should be able to get all the way down without drowning just to be on the safe side actually i might grab a torch So now we have two columns of water traveling all the way from the top to the bottom here, contained within the glass tube. And uh, what I'm going to do is plant kelp here. So uh, what this is going to do is kelp, when it grows up through a, through a water block, turns it into a source block, which is very important. So let's just get both of these going with bone meal. I don't know if we can just keep bone milling these for them to keep going up there, but let's see how we go. We want them to go all the way to the top, basically. Okay, so both columns of water have now been converted into source blocks via the kelp. Uh, so all we have to do is basically uh, collect the kelp on the way down. Don't need that anymore. And uh, stick the magma block on one side and the soul sand on the other. Alrighty. Let's do it. So uh, got a fair bit of bonus kelp out of that, which is good. 
but we've got our magma block and we've got our soul sand block. So the soul sand is going to make the water go like the, the bubble column go up and the magma is going to make the bubble column go down. Uh, so I probably want to have the up on this side. I would, I'd imagine let's, let's do that like that and the magma there. Now with magma, obviously you, you won't get burned by it if you are pressing shift, like if you're crouching on it. Um, so you, you press shift automatically as you come down anyway to get extra speed. Um, cool. So that is the, uh, the water elevator completed guys. Um, pretty, uh, pretty, uh, pretty awesome. So, uh, should be, should be a super fast way to get up and down. Um, not quite as fast as like jumping into, into a, a block of water or whatever to come down. Coming down is going to be the slow part, I think, but going up should be pretty fast. Um, I imagine. So that is actually pretty awesome. Um, very, very cool indeed. It looks really good how it's glass as well. That frameless glass just looks so good. It's almost like it's not quite there. <laughs> very, very cool. All right, let's just put this uh, torch back here and uh, test it out. So yeah, we're moving pretty fast here. I think Maybe the slightly tricky part is, is going to be popping out and not overshooting too much, but with a bit of practice should be all right. And then to go down, we just, it's not as fast going down, but it's still a lot faster than regular water would be. Nice. So that is the uh, water elevator completed. All right, guys. So what we might do next is we might actually head into uh, the raw vaults and I really want to get hold of some pumpkins. I don't know how many raw vaults we're going to have to search to try and find them, but I guess we can get some other stuff too that we need. Um, let's see, what do we actually need right now? I've probably got enough. Uh, dirt is something I might need a lot of if I'm going to set up some farms and stuff like that. I do have a bit here. But um, more would always be good. Otherwise, uh, I guess more bones and stuff like that would be good as well. We'll see what we can find. Anyway, let's head into the raw vault. So the main thing I want to find is pumpkins. All right, we're going to come back to the north. Now, pumpkins, we're only going to find those in the village rooms. So we have to find the village rooms first. They're usually pretty easy to spot, though. I might check some of these side corridors, cor corridors as we go through. Okay, let's see what this village has. Sugarcane. Oh, 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 yes! Finally! We've got pumpkins. I'm so happy. Do you know how long it took me to find these? Unbelievable. I reckon I went through about 12 volts trying to get these things. Finally! Oh my god. Let's just grab these flowers and then we'll have to find a way out of here. There it is. So yeah, we finally found pumpkins. That's crazy. And we should be able to get the seeds off those to grow our own. Well guys, success! I finally found pumpkins. So that is awesome. We can finally get pumpkins going and grow our own pumpkins, which is going to be awesome. I'm pretty sure I've got all the other crops, at least the basic ones here, 
for us to grow as well, which is pretty sweet. So we'll put pumpkins in there as well. And uh, yeah, it took me a while. Check out how many monolith crates I've got from going into those raw vaults. We'll open those in the next episode, I think. But uh, yeah, this is where we'll leave it for today, guys. And uh, yeah, in the next episode, we're hopefully going to be running another vault. And I'll see you guys then. Thanks for watching.